What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FC24 video. EA have dropped us two new incredible evolutions for the Centurions promo and we're going to go through the best options today starting with just the best one-off upgrades. That's just cards that are just their current standard card that you can upgrade in either Centurions box box midfielder or Centurion Sharpshooter. And then we're going to look at some of the chained evolution upgrades for some of you guys that may already have done some evos and want to put them into another upgrade path. Or for some of you guys that might have some of these evo options still open where you can get the double upgrade. So first of all, the Centurion's box to box midfielder. It is 150,000 coins or 2,000 FIFA points, but it has got some really good options. It gives a plus three across the board instead of in terms of stats and overall so literally three in pace shooting passing dribbling defending and physical and a three overall but it also gives uh high high work rates which is really really good and gives relentless which is one of the best play styles in the game bruiser and pinged pass so we will look at first of all the eligible players and i think first and foremost what's the max pace max pace is 89 i think first and foremost taking someone with like medium to high pace is going to be valuable so someone like hoiberg i wouldn't be interested in someone like madison if he didn't have player of the month i would be interested in but aurelian shuameni is definitely for me one of the best he already has seven play styles that are very very good and once you evolve him he gets an eighth play style because you already had two of the ones that they give he obviously gets that plus three across the board and with a shadow chem style now all of a sudden has very good passing insane defending very good pace very good dribbling and very good physicals with insane insane play styles and of course because he's french and real madrid he has loads and loads of links so a really good option there is aurelian shuameni i like it a lot of course one of the favored 84s is marcus lorente he's extinct on the market because every meta rat and their dog is currently evoing him. He already has Relentless, which is a bit of a shame. He already has five play styles. The thing that I like about Lorente above other possible evo options in this regard is the fact that he's got center mid and right back and right mid as like an option. So you can play him as a center mid or you can play him as a fullback. Like I think you could genuinely like pop an anchor on him once he's evoed. And you've got elite pace, elite physicals, very good defending for a fullback, good uh, good passing and very good dribbling. Like this all of a sudden just becomes a crazy defender. And obviously with a shadow, you can get that max pace and even better defending. But you could play him in the center of the park as well. And I don't even think you need to give like an engine to him. Like a maestro gives him nice passing boost, really tidy dribbling boost. So as like a box-to-box -box midfielder or as like a defensive midfielder, um, I think he's really, really good. I think backbone could be nice for him as well. Where is it? There. Yeah, I really like that as a as a as a chem style. Outrageous defending and physical, great dribbling, great pace, very good passing, very good shooting as well, and incredible play style. So th those for me straight away would be like the first two that I look at and think these are like the main two I'd go for. Um, however, when we look at what's on offer here, I think somebody suggested Dunn. She's four star, four star with rapid quick step and already has relentless. Once she gets evolved, I mean, yeah, Jesus Christ. Hard to link, which is a bit of a shame because even the club, like, I don't mind the women players if they play for, like, big big clubs because they're easy to link. But she is incredible. I mean, that's an outrageous card, isn't it? That dribbling is mental. That passing, physical, defending is good. You give an engine chem style to her. Where is it? Where's it gone? Engine. That is an absolutely bonkers bonkers card and the question you got to ask yourself is is would this car be 150k on the market probably not because of league and nation but in terms of stats and play styles it's up there it's it's a good good card it is a good card um we've got Majory apparently has 10 play styles including a play style plus once evolved yeah that i mean Let's be realistic. I don't think she's very good. Five-star skill moves is great. 64 stamina is not. Pace split is a bit stinky. Dribbling's nice. Defending's nice. Passing's nice. I don't know, I don't, I don't know if this is like my, my sort of card. I think that 64 stamina kills this card completely. Not bad, though. It's not, not a bad card. The play style is obviously very, very helpful. 
Uh, who else we got? Benasur. Oh my god, he fits. Yeah, that's a good upgrade. He only had one playstyle before as well. So gains three playstyles. A Shadow Chem style on him. Yeah, that's nice. This all of a sudden becomes like a super, super usable card. High, high work rates, four star skill moves. Very good pace, very good defending. Um, good physicals, good passing, very good dribbling. And being AC Milan with that goalkeeper Giroud, Teo Hernandez, Tamori Centurions, great club links for Benacer as well. There's some good options there. I like Bruno Gamares a lot. He already has five play styles. Um, does he actually go up to eight? Or does he already have some duplicate play styles? He goes up to... That is a mad card. That, do, do you know what? That might be one of the best Premier League, like, box-to-box -box slash defensive mids in the game. Incredible play styles, good pace, great defending, very good physicals, very good passing, and very good dribbling with 90 composure. The only downside to this card is the two-star weak foot. Otherwise, this is a great card. If you're a Newcastle fan, you are loving that. <clears throat> you are loving that. Um, Koke, I'm not really interested in. Enzo, I'm not really interested in. What else we got? Sergi Dard there. Now, obviously, he's not the, the most fun to link with only three-star, 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 three-star. But he goes up to nine play styles. Mm, it's a bit of a... It's, it's a good card, but it's a bit meh. Um, Bruno, I know Bruno Gamaris already has a UCL, but now here's where it gets a bit fun. Inform Palacios. Now he's got the 86 Trailblazers already, but the fact you can evolve an inform is fun because he comes with the uh, dynamic image, which is great fun. Now his pace isn't the best, but outside of that, this is a really good card. And Bayer Leverkusen have got a lot of really good players in the game this year with Frimpong, with Grimaldo's inform. Um, what we've got like a Bonnie face player of the month. He's got also some really tidy play styles. That is a very, very good card. I know he's already got, the, let, let's compare this to his, uh, his other cards, his other 86 and tell me which one would you prefer? So this one has two less pace, one more shooting, more play styles, one less passing, same dribbling, same defending, same physical, Probably would be a waste of an evolution unless you missed out on Palacios Trailblazer objective. The thing I like the most about it, obviously, is the uh, the play styles. But yeah, it might, might be a bit of a waste. Evander is a fun option. Now, there's a question that we've got. And that question is, if you evolve Classy, Road to the Knockouts card, which is fun, right? But if you Evo him, does he still get upgraded? When, as an Evo, when this card gets upgraded, because of course, if Alkmaar make it through, which it's not guaranteed, or if they get the two wins, which is also not guaranteed, this 83 card goes up to an 85. So, does this 86 card get a further upgrade? I don't think he will. But if he does, it'd be crazy. And even if he doesn't, this card is very, very good. This 86 classy, seven play styles, great passing, good physicals, great defending, very good dribbling and very good pace. That is a very, very good card. That is a very good card. And a really fun one to do with like, to do, to do uh, you know, a road to the knockout upgraded into a Centurions. And then Evander, I mean, he already has six play styles. He was 10k. He goes up to nine play styles. Brazilian, so easy to link. Defending, not the best. Not the worst either. I still would put a shadow on him as well. And it's just a fun card, isn't it? His dribbling's brilliant. His passing's good. His physical's good. Shooting's good. Pace is great. Defending's good. Play styles are great. It's fun, though, that there's some specials that are eligible. Now, Camavinga is a fun one as well, I think, because he's got that left-back option as well. He, he, he kind of like becomes a, I don't want to say a cheap Furlan Mendy because you could just buy Mendy for cheaper than you could do this uh, evolution. But that's a good card. Relentless, block, flare, 
technical, incisive pass, bruiser and jockey, high, high work rates, top pace, great dribbling, great physicals, good passing, very good defending. Do you know what? As a defensive midfielder, just as a CDM, he becomes really, really good. He becomes really good. I like him a lot as an option. Um, who else stands out? Guerrero, probably a little bit too slow. Oh, Lamar. Now, Lamar already has high, high work rates. But probably wouldn't put that on him. I'd probably put like an engine on him. That's a really, really good option. Four-star skill moves, three-star weak foot. Great dribbling, great passing, good shooting, very good pace, good stand, reasonable defending. Inma Gabaro? Who's Inma Gabaro? Kovacic may be a bit slow. Manham from Arsenal is decent. But I think lacks a little bit in pace and maybe defending. I think the other Arsenal woman, the 83 Arsenal woman, I, yeah, Ulti. I, I, I'm going to do this card on my Arsenal Evo RTG because I think she turns into a brilliant card. With a Shadow Chem style, she has press proven, relentless, incisive pass, bruiser, sly tackle, and um, anticipate. 88 stamina, great defending, great pace, good passing, and good dribbling. That is a good card with four star weak foot as well. That is a good card. Um, Somebody said Toon is a good option as well. Yeah, because of the playstyle she's got. She goes up to nine playstyles, including a playstyle plus. Agility is a little bit low. Defending is terrible. Physical's good. Like, stamina's good. You're probably going to put an engine on her. I mean, it's a good option. It is a good option. Five-star skill moves as well. It's a good option. It's not great, but it's good. What else have we got? Tillyman's a bit slow. McAllister is all right if you're a Liverpool fan. He's not like crazy, crazy. Because he's a bit slow, but he's all right. There's not a lot else. Yeah, Sergi Dardell looks all right. If you're an Aston Villa fan, Douglas, uh, Douglas Luiz could be good. Wow. Inform Carlos Soler is eligible. Oh, that's good. That's good. Okay, he's only got the three play styles that he gets from this, but with a shadow, he's got good pace, really good passing, really good dribbling, and of course, is eligible at centre mid with four star weak foot, high, high work rates. That's a fun card. There is like, this is. Look at, the, compared to the last Evo video we did, look at the quality of options there are this time compared to the quality of options there were last, last time. EA have done a great job with this, with this Evo. There are so many, so many good options. 84 Stanway. Let's go to Stanway. We'll look, we'll look at one or two more here and then we'll move on because we've been looking at these for a while now. So Stanway from Byron. Yeah, she's good to be fair. Three star, three star, but... A shadow chem style, great defending, great pace, very good passing, good physicals, very good play styles, including a play style plus, and good dribbling, and good links. Yeah, Stanway's legit. Um, so now let's have a look at the Sharpshooter Centurions Evo, and then we're going to look at Chain Evos, right? So first of all, Eligible players. Akta Koglu is a good option. He's got an inform already, which is a bit, a bit sad. But once he gets evolved, five play styles, four star, four star, high low work rates. I think this Evo, especially as a free Evo, is incredible. Hunter Chem style on him, and he's got mad pace, mad shooting, decent passing, good stamp, good dribbling, four star, four star, high low work rates. It is a really good option. Bamba as well is nice. He's 10k as Bamba. If you've got Bamba in your club, guys, just go and sell him. Because again, him with a hunter, four star, five star, high low work rates. That is a mental, mental card. Igor Pachao from Fire Nord. What's he? Four star, four star. It's 
a good upgrade. Five play styles on him. Hunter Kemstar makes him legit as well as a striker. Really good agility and balance. Really good shooting and uh, pace. Servi shooting looks a bit stinky. Tracks are a bit too slow. Yeah, so Gabarro. This is what somebody said in the chat. Gabarro is apparently good. Four star, four star. High low work rates. 91 pace, 91 shooting. That is a good card. She doesn't really gain much with the Hunter Chem style. Probably go Hawk, actually. Yeah, much better. That's a really good card. Reasonably easy to link as well. Pedro Neto is a really fun one. Right wing striker, left wing. He becomes four star, five star. Travella and Finesse, which is just mad from this. And then a Hunter Chem style. Oof. A little low on stamina. But otherwise an amazing choice. And has like the, the, the freedom of the whole front line as well. He is a good option. Got Szymanski from uh, Fenerbahce. He's very good as well. Little low on physicals. Little low on some dribbling attributes. Mavadidi, I bet, is banging. We're only going to do the straight Evos on him. Mm, again, dribbling a bit meh. He's got striker options. So a Hunter gives him 99 pace, 95 shooting. Um, thanks for the two, Brandon. We'll, we'll get to the chain Evos shortly. Uh, we're just looking at the... like Because not everybody's going to be able to chain Evos because they might have used other players or they might have already done the Evo or they might have already missed the Evo. Um, so we kind of want to look first at just options for people that if they've just you know just got the game, like Corne, for example, becomes three-star, five-star with this Evo. See, this is a really good option for me. Engine chem style or Maestro, I think, actually. Maestro's legit. Nice dribbling, great shooting, good pace, good passing. Five-star weak foot, high-low work rates. That is a good option. Davidson. Bar is too bit too slow, but starts four star, four star, which is nice. But Harrison Huang He Chan's an interesting one because he becomes four star, five star. That's a really, really good card. 96 agility and decent dribbling. Great pace, great shooting. Oh. <clears throat> there, there's he only gets two playstyles somehow. Why doesn't he get the third playstyle? Or does it only offer two play styles? Finesse shot on Travella. I thought it offered a third play style. Maybe it doesn't. Well, the fact that he gets two play styles, Finesse shot on Travella is pretty mad. Who else have got? Murphy, if you're a new card. See, if you didn't get that Bruno Gimaraish, I suppose Murphy's in form exists. But this 86 Murphy is... Looked on the wrong thing. Is tidy. You're in sharp shooter. Because it gives such a boost... To shooting I feel like if you put this on the wing any of these players on the wing you're just wasting them I think up front they become so good Alova's very good got Rossi bit hard to link Traore bit hard bit slow Jose Calion a bit slow these days used to be one of the OP players Dennis is alright but dribbling's a bit poor Garnacho, obviously, everyone's uh, favourite, and Gordon as well. Gordon goes to three-star, four-star. See, for him, I'd probably give, like, an artist. Yeah, that's, that's a really cool card all of a sudden. And then Garnacho, pro probably one of the best ones, Garnacho. Great pace, good shooting, very good dribbling. And again, give that Hunter Chem style... Now, all of a sudden, you've got five-star weak foot, high-low work rates, very good play styles, great pace, great shooting, good dribbling. It's good. It is good. And so, once again, like I said with the other, with the like box-to-box -box midfielder, lots of good options for Sharpshooter. I, th I think the boosts that they're giving to both of these cards are really good. Um, we can't go through every player, 
But I think that there are lots of good options. I th and I think we've gone through some of the better options here as well. But I would always still remain to say this. Pick your favourite players from your favourite clubs and your favourite nations because you will just enjoy it way, way more. But now let's have a look at some of the best chain devos and see if you have any players in your club that fit these chains because you can get some incredible players with these chain devos. All right, guys, so we have got a whole bunch of uh, chained evolutions for the Trailblazer striker or winger to sharpshooter from Centurions. And they've been provided to me by editor Josh. So if your favorite guy isn't on this list, blame him, not me. All right. So first of all, we've got Andre Green. You can take him from a 66 to an 87 and he does look good. What I love the most about the Century and Sharpshooter is that for that weak foot upgrade. Taking someone from a three star to a four star or a four star to a five star is really, really good. But once you get green up to that max option there, oh, that's a good card, isn't it? At striker with six play styles, high low work rates, four star weak foot, great pace, great shooting, good passing, good physicals other than aggression, and very good dribbling. That's actually a bonkers, bonkers card. That is a really good option. We have got Lamine Ghazali. You play in the French second division or something, is that? Um, who does he play for there? Dynamo. Oh, I, don't, I've never, I don't even know who that is. Either way, he goes up from a 66 to an 87. Also three-star, four-star, and of course, all of them are going to be high-low work rates. Oh, yeah, that agility and balance is superb. Pace good, shooting good, passing all right, physicals good, Hunter chem style. I think Hunter's like the, the place to go to for these cards because it just gives you insane pace and insane shooting with otherwise really good stats. It doesn't have the, the like, okay, he's got Traveller and Finesse Shot, which is great, but otherwise he doesn't have the most play styles. But he's a really good option. We've got Saidi, who goes, welcome to Evo's which you probably don't have anymore. So we could probably actually ignore the welcome to Evos for a lot of these players and just go for the Trailblazer striker to the, trail, to the Centurion sharpshooter. So if you're a Swedish fan, <clears throat> you've got yourself a really good option here. I actually wouldn't give this guy a hunter either because his positioning, finishing and shot power is already very, very good. His agility and balance is very good. I would go for either a marksman where is Marksman? That's a really, really good card. Maybe not for pace, but in terms of his dribbling, his shooting, and his physicals as a striker, it's very good. Or a Maestro, which also makes him really, really good. Or if you do just want pace, a Hunter Chem style does get him good stats. That, yeah, his, his dribbling is really nice. I, I think a Maestro on him would be what I'd go for. Crazy dribbling. Crazy shooting, good passing, good pace, good card. We've got Dukanovic. Yeah, okay, I can already tell that this is going to be a mad card. Four star, five star. Hard to link, but low reactions. How much do you reckon that card's going for on the market? Is, is that going to be like a discard card? 99 pace, 95 shooting, four star, five star, all the play styles. Great dribbling outside of reactions. Would that be at least like maybe a 30k card? 40k card? I don't know. That is a crazy card. It's just hard to link, which is a shame. We've then got Uwusu Sekiere. Didn't this guy used to play for Arsenal? Wasn't he an Arsenal uh, youth player? I'm not the keenest fan of this guy, I can't lie. <clears throat> Five-star weak foot is nice. Max pace, great shooting, five-star weak foot, high-low work rates is all nice. Play style is cool. Reasonably low stamina. Really poor composure and absolutely atrocious passing. Make this guy for me an absolute no. From the old Kang, from the, uh, was it, Kangju Mighty Lions. Who are probably going to fold after this year. This might be their last year as a football club, but... Yeah, that, that's not a bad card. I just personally wouldn't go for that one. Then we've got a refund one, guys, right? So the reason why Regali is in this list is because 
first of all, once he gets upgraded, he becomes good, right? Again, one of those situations where the pace isn't the best. Good stamina, really good dribbling outside of reactions, really good shooting, decent passing, decent pace. You give him a maestro. Positioning, finishing, shot power is outrageous. Dribbling is outrageous. A little low on reactions composure. Passing is good. The reason why Regali is a good one to do is because if you're a Kortrike fan, you could have done Kana as well. Maybe again, ignore Welcome to Evolutions. But you can actually do Kana if, you've, if you did Golden Glow up part two on him, Trailblazer Interceptor, and now Box to Box Midfielder, you can get him up there. But you can actually get him up to an 84. You could have already had him up to an 84 or this 84 here, depending on which path you took. And you would have had him as a really good usable centre-back. And now you've got a club link with Regali. And so it's the first time that we've seen, at least of the players that Josh and I have found, the first time that you can take two absolute deadbeat players and make them very, very good from a team. A silver 65 rated left mid and a silver 67 rated centre back are now two fully usable cards in rivals and champs because of evolutions. And for me, that's what it's about. I love that a lot. We've also got Flores. Now, I've seen Flores bandied around quite a bit for um, Arsenal Evos, but he unfortunately doesn't play for Arsenal anymore. He plays a Tigres. I believe he has a Tigres card in game even though this one's not shown here. But yeah, you, you could take him. They're a very good card, right? It is a good card. And especially if you're like a Tigres fan or Mexican League fan, the play styles are nice. Great pace, great shooting, good passing. And other than reactions, very good dribbling. This is a really good card. If there are any of his Arsenal cards out there, list it for me, I'll buy it. List it for me, I'll buy it. Um, we've got Charlie Kirk from, is that Charlton? Because of his pace being so good, I'd give him a maestro. Wow. Six play styles, great dribbling, great shooting, very good pace, good passing, and decent stam. That's a really good card. Eric Burko. Shame finisher boost, kind of wrong stats. I think we again have to look at maestro on cards like this. He's got great pace. Great shooting. Nice physicals, really tidy dribbling. Three star, four star. That is another good option. And then Nishan Burkhart. Play for Winterthur, is that? Um, three star, five star, five play styles. As far as a striker goes, that's mad. Agility and balance is there. Other dribbling is okay. Physically really there. Shooting a pace is incredible. Passing is okay. There are a lot of really good options there though. Some of those chain devos are really tidy. All right, guys, on to the midfield as we go. Uh, and before we get deep into the midfielders that can have like multiple uh, upgrade paths, uh, we were getting recommended by chat a lot of players, including Graven Birch. Uh, the reason why we've omitted certain players from the possible evolution paths here today is because the... Golden Glow Up no longer exists. So if you didn't already use Graven Birch for Golden Glow Up Part 2, which maybe you did or maybe you didn't, and if you did, then that's great. But if you didn't, you can't anymore. So we're trying to focus on players that you can still Evo right now with options that are in the game, rather than basing it on somebody that you hope to have already Evoed, uh, which is why Graven Birch, as good as he does become, if you're a Liverpool fan, obviously you're very happy if you did do him, he won't be in the list. However, we have got this guy right here, Enric Lansana. Uh, Enric Lansana, you can do Trailblazer Interceptor, Trailblazer Center Back, and then Centurions Box to Box. And he goes from a 65 up to an 84. A really weird pace split. His passing is actually good. His physical is very good. Dribbling's nice as well. I think a Shadow Chem style on him and then using him at center back. Is he lengthy as well? This guy has got eight play styles, including Intercept Plus, because of everything that you do to get to this point. 94 sprint speed, good passing, great dribbling for a centre-back. You could use him in centre midfield, I, I personally wouldn't. Great physicals and great defending. That is actually a really wild card to be able to put in. And he's still solo rated, that you'd definitely be able to put him into another Evo somewhere down the line. Like, definitely somewhere down the line, be able to put him in. So he, he's a real good option, that's for sure. 
We've also got Lewis Schuten. Man, all these Dutch players, man. AZ Alkmaar. Two-star, three-star. But again, you're probably looking to use these players at centre-back because he's also eligible in centre-back. Seven play styles. Low composure. Really nice passing. Really nice physicals. Yeah, he has relentless as well. So the 79 stamina is absolutely fine. Great pace and great defending on a shadow. Really nice option. And again, being only 82 rated would be very helpful for him. Bellegard is definitely an option that people are very interested in as well. Once he gets the Evo, again, we'll ignore Welcome to Evolutions. Uh, once he gets Trailblazer, Interceptor and Centurion's Box to Box. Relentless, Interceptor Plus, love it. Incredible dribbling. Good passing, good pace, good defending. He doesn't have DM as an option. Uh, so I would probably put either a Catalyst on him or a Shadow. Depends if you're desperate for passing or desperate for defending. But he is a crazy, crazy option. He's a really good option to have there. We then have Giulini from a 74 up to an 85. Three star, three star. Wow. Six play styles, including Press Proven. Great pace, very good dribbling, very good physicals, and has relentless as well, which is always great. So the stamina is kind of a, a moot point. Good short passing, long passing, great defending. And has centre-back as an eligible slot as well. Depending on her height, she could be really good in a centre-back. We've got Ricky from, what's that, Torino. He goes up to an 87, that's mad. That is a wild card. He doesn't have centre-back, and he's only 3-star, three 3-star. Three star. But there's been a lot of already really good Italian evolution cards. I'd actually be more inclined to give him an engine and boost passing. That's a really, really good card. That might be one of my favorites that I've seen so far. If he just had four-star weak foot, it'd be even better. But that's a really good option. Yeah, Archie Gray. Let me, let me look at Archie Gray because I actually see Archie Gray uh, linked a lot. But I think Archie Gray is another one of those. Now... Nick will probably be able to evolve him up again. But if you did Archie Gray Golden Glow Up, if you're, a, if you're a Leeds fan, you now love this card. Look at that. Look at that card. Pop a shadow on him. Look at that card. Four-star weak foot. High, high work rates. Very good as well for a CDM. Great dribbling. Good pace. Very good passing. Good physicals and good defending with five play styles. That is honestly a phenomenal, phenomenal card. Even though the face card stats don't look outrageous good, it's good. And again, even though he's only got 69 stamina, he's got Relentless. So it's all good. We've got Zare Emery from PSG. Good. Passing's nice. Play styles are nice. I'm just popping shadows on everyone. Boost the pace, boost the defending, because it, all of this seems to boost really nicely some other positions. I like it. It's a good card again. Because who cares about crossing and free kick accuracy, right? Who cares about shooting for a guy that's going to be your defensive midfielder? Really tidy dribbling. Really good defending. 99 interceptions. Good physicals. Very good pace. Maybe even a sentinel on him. Because he's already got decent pace. No, that's crazy. Give him the pace. And then we've got Caceres Jr. From the French League. Six play styles, including the intercept plus. And play right mid as well, which is an interesting starting point. Great physicals, not the best passing. He's certainly somebody that I would look to uh, boost the passing on. Yeah, I think uh, this is a really good card. Great pace, very good dribbling, very good defending and physicals. Just a little bit let down on that uh, passing. And then last but not least, Oster Hage. Nice. Bundesliga. And again, a little lacking on passing, but otherwise a really good option. So last up, guys, we have got Anderson from uh, Newcastle. Another silver. Wow, he's had some mad upgrade options. Um, so right now, he could because he's a left wing as well, you could do Centurion's Sharpshooter and then Centurion's Box-to-Box -box on him. Or you could have done Relentless Winger, Pacey Winger, and Centurion's Box-to-Box. -box. Or any number of any of these upgrade paths. Basically, if you started him on something, you've got him again now. I think the one that I'd look at for him is the double Centurion's upgrade. Because that becomes a really tidy card. Six play styles, five star weak foot, high, high work rates. Really tidy dribbling, really tidy shooting, good passing and good physicals. 
You've got Lapoussant, who again has lots of options. Because he's a left wing and a centre mid, he's got lots of upgrade paths. I think if we just look at his Centurion options, yeah, he's nice again. Passing again, not maybe the best, but considering where he started, he's got eight play styles if you uh, run him through that path. If you already did, say like, I don't know why you ever would, but if you did do Relentless Winger, then Pacey Winger, and then did the Centurions box to box, that's where it's like, okay, this is a crazy good card now. And then last but not least, if you manage to get a Minu before Golden Glow Up expired, and you did him into Golden Glow Up Part 2, once you put him in box to box, this card is insane. Okay, it's still three stars, two star, but he's got high, high work rates, eight play styles, and crazy stats. Give him a Shadow Chem style, and you have genuinely got yourself one of the best DMs that you could have. From being a bronze card in this game, 90 composure, 99 agility and balance, very good physicals, very good defending, very good pace, good passing, and eight play styles. He's crazy. And then I've been asked to show you right at the end, guys, is this guy here, Bobby Clark. You want to see how many Evos you could have given him by now? That many. He has been eligible for about 60 different Evo paths. Now, of course, that's not 60 different Evos, but it's just all the different paths that you could have taken with doing one, then putting him into another one, switching him to another one. There has been an infinite number of possibilities for him. And he becomes like half decent by the end of it. So uh, that is going to be the end of the video for today. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, I'll see you for the next Evolution video. For now, I'm out. Peace.